shit's big, you. How do I start this video? Hi, everybody! <laughs> I'm not gonna use that. Hello, and welcome to an unboxing video for Tales of Symphonia, I want to call it Legacy Edition, um, but perhaps that's wrong. The title probably explains it better than I have, because I've not opened it yet, but I did see that um, it's the Special Edition, so it comes with a lot of good stuff. That's why I haven't opened it, because I believe it comes in an art box, which you will see straight away. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and then I'll explain more as this continues. Okay, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that, I had a bit of trouble because they seem to tape this uh, so well even a knife couldn't penetrate. I've got two pieces of cardboard, my favourite parts of special editions of games. Uh, not sure why they're here, actually. But, the thing we've all been waiting for... Air packets! Fuck yeah! Now, as you can see, the detailing on the... No, uh, right. Cool. I think that's it. Yes. And lo and behold... Oh, I am. There's more air packets on my receipt, I think. Uh, so, obviously not gonna... Yeah, it's just air packets. Right, cool. Sorry about that. Uh, just needed a check, just in case. So, here we have it. The uh, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. There we are. Um, I thought it was Legacy or something. So, for those of you who aren't in the know, Tales of Symphonia was a game, uh, GameCube JRPG, and then there was a Wii sequel, I believe, um, which was less less good, I believe. But I do believe Tales of Symphonia is one of the best Tales games. Live again in in unregrettable. Tales of Symphonia Saga in HD. No, the end. The, the, not in. Okay. But as you can see, that's some screenshots of the game. Actually, I'll, I'll, un, I'll uh, pull off the uh, cellophane so it'll be easier and less shiny. Because that'll be easier to actually reveal. Right, I'll be right back. Right. I'm back. Hopefully I won't have to unpack anything anymore, because I think that's pretty much it. So, unfortunately I can't speak much about the art, because I've never played this game. Um, some of you may be wondering, why do you go for the Special Edition, or Collector's Edition rather, if you haven't played the game? Well, I've always wanted to play a Tales of game, and never actually got round to it. So, seeing how much stuff you get in here, which I'll obviously go through in a minute, I thought, yeah, why not? That's that's a brilliant, um, you know, use of money, really, I think. Anyway, so, right. First off, this, mm. is a plastic sleeve, so that's pretty cool. So you get a lot of the artwork on, okay, well, one side of the artwork, with this guy and this girl, on this side. Obviously the box looks different, and then there's all the stuff. Woo! So, without further ado, let's begin with this. Now, I believe this is the instruction manual. Not what I was thinking it was. Right, okay, let's move on. That's a nice manual, don't get me wrong. Um, uh, I think you can scan that QR code if you want. Uh, if you want all the latest info. And something else. Uh, and yeah, so basically just saying um, how to follow them on Facebook and stuff. Let's move those over there. Okay. Now this was one of the most interesting parts of the special edition. It is a novel. Uh, Successors of Hope. I'm obviously not sure where in the timeline of Tales of Symphonia this takes place because I've never played the game. But... According to what I read, this is a novel that was unavailable outside of Japan until now. Now, it seems a pretty hefty book. Uh, ah, and they got pictures in it. That's nice. Um, this, I thought, was a very, very interesting part of a special edition, because you rarely get books, really, apart from, like, strategy guides, which, let's face it, no one reads. 
So this this is interesting in that technically you get two games and then you get sort of well a continuation of the story a bit in the book or if it bridges the gap between the two I'm not sure. But so that's the book. It's as I said, it's a pretty hefty book. Uh with I I'd wager quite a few hundred pages. Um so yeah, it got 131, is that 100 and, yeah, 131 pages or so, that's, that's pretty damn good, I would say. Next up is the game itself, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, uh, obviously, ooh, two discs, oh, ah, right, I know what this is now. This is the game, these uh, are the soundtracks, I believe. Uh, maybe, or... No, that's the game, because it says PS3. I knew that. And these are the soundtracks. You get two discs of soundtrack material, which, personally speaking, just realised there's here... <laughs> there's a code over here, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to enter that before I put this video up. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. Basically, these are the um, soundtracks. You get two discs. This is pretty damn cool, because... Um, if you ever bought collector's editions before, you'd know that essentially you tend to get one disc of some tracks. And even then there's about ten tracks on it. This seems to be pretty comprehensive. In fact, we can look here. These are the um, track names. Unfortunately, I'm not picking them up very well. Um, perhaps you can see it better on a big screen, I'm not sure. So, this is all disc one. That's a lot of tracks for one disc. What the hell? Okay. So it's disc two. It is. Wow, that's... That's a lot of tracks there. Um, so, if you want more information, I, I suggest maybe Googling it, because it's pointless me going over all the tracks here. But yeah, they're pretty cool looking CDs. Um... I shall make sure to listen to them, even before I play the game sometimes, because I like to do that. Cool. Right. And... I think you know a good reason why I bought this. Because they come with some figures, or other Nendroid-looking stuff. Now, the press release of this said it contained five nendroid -y things. That's technically the case, but one of them is a very small cat. So I like to think it's for and an accessory. Now, unfortunately, um, I don't know who these people are. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you them, and then I'm gonna put captions underneath them of their names and stuff. Obviously, if you're a Tales of Symphonia fan, you're probably shouting at the screen right now and saying, you know, you idiot, you should know. But I I've never played it, so that's difficult. I'm sorry about this. I shall speed this up. See you in a second. It's good, bruh. Right. Hello. Welcome back. This, I realised actually only opens on one side, so I'd already done it before I did the fast forward, but whatever. Ah. And there we have the Nendroids, which I shall now pull out. Maybe some of you at home are shouting, No, you idiot, don't pull them out. Leave them in there. And stuff. Um... Cool. There is this guy. Ah, oh, cool, they give you decapitated heads. They're my favourite type of heads. No. Um, that's a base, and I'm assuming that's his body. Yes. Now, I'm in two minds whether to actually open these from the packaging. So, for now... Hmm. Actually, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Um... I'm going to open these, and then I'll just give you a display of all of them when they're opened, I think, because I doubt any of you really want to see just me going through sort of bagged, decapitated heads and cats and stuff. So, I'll see you in a few minutes. Hello. I am back, and I have assembled all of them. Uh, so this is them in a sort of group. I shall go through each of them. Uh, I'll begin... Right. As I said, I'm going to have to look up who exactly these are, so I'll caption it underneath. So, first it's... Look at the caption there. Um, 
She, right. Oh, uh, just a disclaimer, these are not nendroids. These come in like three parts. There's the stand, there's the body, and there's the head. These are not anywhere near nendroids. They just remind me of them. Um, so first off, if you look at the bases, they have their own little symbols. Um, I'm assuming this comes into play in-game somehow. So this is her. She's got an interesting costume, I suppose. Um, pretty plain, but... There we are. She looks very happy to be there. So there is her. Then I'll take the cat off the base because the cat can't stand up very well. Then there is her, who, with the use of the thing, you can make go sideways, which I think I may display her like that. She's pretty cool. Um, has an interesting weapon. I'm not sure what that is. Obviously because I've not played the game, but... Again, I will play this game soon, so I am sure I'll get to know what exactly it is. She's got some flowers in her hair, which is nice. And she comes with a cat, who is, as I said earlier, counted as a figure, but he's a pretty decent-looking cat thing. Who seems to be wearing clothes, because he's got tails there. Uh, well, coat tails, as it were. Um, my one criticism of this is that he doesn't really have much to stand on, so he's got the white thing there. But he generally tends to fall over because his head's huge. So, moving on, we then have this guy, who I'm assuming is like the main character. Obviously, again, there's a caption underneath that his name. He's dual wielding. He is looking pretty cool. And um, a theme I think you'll notice with the next one as well, if that's a guy, I can't tell. But it does tend to be that the two very obviously feminine ones have... Um, rather well, plain outfits, whereas this guy's kick-ass and seems to be really well designed, as we'll see the next guy as well. He reminds me a bit of Deadpool, actually. Well, obviously, until you reach the sort of dashingly good-looking head, because Deadpool, as we all know, is really hideous. Um, he's got some white scarves coming off him, and he's dual-wielding like a boss. That's That's pretty damn cool. And the final one is caption this person who is um like wielding a rapier i think like backwards way and looks to be wearing kind of samurai stuff with the whole cloak um and the boots and stuff i think this is the coolest costume of the four um obviously again i'm not sure who these characters are yet but I hope to play the game and then look up to my shelf and go like, Oh, it's that guy! And sort of, uh, there goes the cat. And sort of have more relevance. So, yeah. So those are the technically five figures you get with the set. Personally speaking, they're very well made. So I I would actually, if you're a big Tales of Symphonia fan, and maybe thinking of getting it on PS3, I would possibly suggest getting this just for the figures, because getting figures of um, video game characters you like is very hit and miss, because sometimes they'll end up costing you like £80, which is a lot more than you'd have spent on the game, but for this deal, it's it's one of the best. So, recap, then I'll give you um, a general... Um, I'll give you a general rating of it. So you get... The art box, which I think is pretty fucking brilliant. It's, uh, I'm assuming taken from both games. You get, well, obviously this is part of the art box, I guess. There's the game. Obviously, you kind of need that. And the soundtracks. That was a big um, plus for the soundtracks there, because there's two of them, and they both seem really extensive. Yeah. Sorry about that. Then there is the novel, which, again, is pretty pretty incredible, actually, that this is a thing, because you rarely, if ever, get video game novels um, that come with special editions. And, of course, the five figures you get. Personally speaking, I would give this a solid 9.5 out of 10. Now, this is for the collector's edition. Don't take this as a game review because I've not played the game, obviously. Um, but value for money, I managed to get this for £70. Now, obviously, maybe the game was retailing for, say, 30 so that's... 
that's 40 more. Uh, but personally speaking, I think it's a good £40 worth because you get a novel that you're probably not going to be able to get anywhere else apart from maybe online or something. You get figures, which I imagine if you were to buy a set of five figures from Tales Symphonia on their own, there'd probably be quite a lot of money. Um, and the soundtracks are brilliant. Uh, well, I mean, obviously I haven't listened to them, but the fact they're so extensive and stuff is brilliant. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, until next time, goodbye.